Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. We got a lot of fun work to do on our mining rigs today. So first of all, I got another two 1660 supers that have to go into this rig here. But for them to go in there, we need to shuffle the power supplies around with this rig as well as this rig in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that other rig in here and we're basically gonna tear the rigs almost completely apart and then rebuild them back up again in a much better configuration with the cards and the power supplies and all that. But the goal of that is to turn this into a 16 GPU rig today. You know, fingers crossed everything works out right. And that is because of this little PCIe splitter chip, like one to four that we tried in the previous video. And hopefully that's gonna allow us to put a full 16 GPUs into this rig. But before we get into any of that, let me just say thank you guys so much. We just hit a thousand subscribers on this channel, which it's incredible to me. We hit a thousand subscribers in less than two months, 58 days. Thank you guys so much. And I also want to send a special thank you to Chump Change XD, Altered Component, Red Panda Mining, Mining Chamber, Tech Chinji, everyone on the Misfit Mining Discord. You guys have been the best new friends that I could ever have wished for. So supportive and I'm so happy to be a part of this like online YouTube mining community. All right, enough of that soppy stuff. Um, there's also something else you need to check out, which is I was a guest on the Misfit Mining Saturday Night live stream, and it was so much fun. It was in the middle of the night for me because of my strange time zone, but I didn't mind at all. It was hilarious. I learned a lot. It was so good talking to other miners and people that are way smarter about mining than I am. So please do yourself a favor and check that out. The link will be in the description for that. All right, let's tear down some mining rigs. All right, so first off, I just unboxed these two new GPUs here. Uh, as I said earlier, they're both 1660 Supers, which I love them. You should know I have quite a lot of them. <laughs> and so this one is another one of those um, Asus Phoenix, like single fan ones, the really small ones. Uh, you might have seen that in my previous build video. And this one is new to me. This is the first of this kind that I have. This is a Asus Tough. 1660 with the uh, dual fans and it's uh, it's really cool. It's really thick I don't know if you guys can see but it is significantly thicker than for example this one is Which is cool, I guess I hope that means it will have better cooling because you know like the thickness most likely comes from uh, bigger um, heat sinks, right? All right, so I got both the rigs on the work table here. I've taken the power supply out of this rig. Now we just gotta take the two power supplies out of this one and shuffle it all around a bit. So I'll see you when I've done that. All right, so I finished moving everything around in this rig. So I got the 1200 watt power supply that was originally in this rig in here now, together with a 650 watt power supply. And that's powering the 1080, the 1080 Ti, uh, one of our 1066 gigs and our three 1070 cards and I fired it up and it's working so um, sorry I didn't catch that on video but trying to be a bit quick as it's getting late tonight guys and I still gotta finish this old rig as well but yeah so what that does is that allows us to take the two 850 watt power supplies that we had in this one to put in this one together with a third 850 watt power supply to power all 16 cards that will hopefully go in this rig. So yeah, I'm gonna carry this big rig away and then we'll get to work on this one. All right, so rig has been moved and it is up and running as you can see. All good in the hood over here. And what I've done in here is I've taken all of the GPUs out of this frame because I wanna reshuffle them all a bit anyway so this was the perfect opportunity to do that all right so what i have to do now first of all with this rig is i actually gotta 
change the SSD because this is only a 120 gig SSD and with putting this many GPUs in the same rig you actually run out of space for the virtual memory file. Um, having more than about 13 or so GPUs in one rig the um, the virtual memory file needs to be bigger so that is why I just went and picked this up. Oh look there's me in the reflection. Hello. Alright guys, so we got Windows installed all good on the rig now and it's time to start adding some GPUs I think. Alright, so I'm just gonna plug one GPU in to start just to like make sure everything works right so and also so I can install the Nvidia drivers on the rig. So I got that all plugged in, risers plugged in, let's turn it on together, Three, two, one. Alright, risers lighting up. Fan on the GPU is spinning, that's a good sign. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna install the NVIDIA driver and then we'll add some more GPUs. Alright, card is in, drivers installed and we are mining on the card now. I just launched the miner to just like, check that it works and it does. So we are all good. That means it is time to add more GPUs guys. So let me just shut the machine off real quick. And then, now for some of the keen eyed viewers out there, you might see that this is an ASRock um, H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard, right? And you know that this only has 13 PCIe slots. So you're asking yourself, how am I able to put 16 GPUs in it? That is because I'm gonna be using one of these guys. A like one to four PCI Express splitter cards. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug that in, plug some GPUs into it, make sure that all works fine, which it should because I tested it in another video, which you can watch that, that will be linked in the description. And uh, then we'll add the rest of the GPUs, so yeah. All right, so we got four GPUs plugged in on the PCI splitter chip and they're all plugged into power, plugged into the USB cords. So let's fire it up together. Three, two, one. All right. All of the cards are lighting up, all of the risers, that's good. Let's see what happens. So what happens with these splitter chips is you get all of these like USB and like unknown PCI devices. But then if you just have some patience and wait for a while, eventually all of the cards do show up. All right, all four cards are showing up and mining away beautifully. So yeah, let's uh, plug some more cards in. All right, so power supply number two is plugged in so we plugged another six gpus into that one and they are plugged into the motherboard as well making a total of 10 gpus and we're about to fire it up so i've already switched the secondary power supply on now let's switch the main power supply on all right good everything's lighting up Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we get 10 cards to show up in Windows. Alright guys, so we got all 10 cards showing up here. I've got my overclock settings set up for all of them and they are mining away beautifully. Excellent. Oh, and just a tip for when you're like installing a lot of GPUs for the first time is this, they'll show up here with a little like warning triangle and, and you might freak out and be like oh no my gpu is broken but just give it some time it, it can take up to like 20 minutes and the whole thing like will jump around a lot and stuff but eventually usually a bit of patience sorts that problem out on its own all right so since that all worked fine what i'm gonna do now is plug the third power supply in and hook up the last four gpus to make it a total of 14 and then I'll show you a little surprise for how we're gonna plug the, 
the remaining two ones in. Alright, see you then. Alright guys, so check this out. This is 16 GPUs plugged into the same motherboard. Now we got 14 on the rows here like you've seen. And then inspired by the Misfit Mining GPU hangers, we've hung the two extra ones just off of the side here. But yeah, it's all plugged in. We got our three power supplies all ready to go. So let's just start with our secondary power supplies. And then three, two, one. All right, so we got a cable and a fan somewhere, but other than that, it seems fine. Well guys, this is one of those days where things didn't go as planned, unfortunately. Uh, after doing a whole bunch of testing, it seems that there is just no way to plug more than 13 GPUs into this setup rig here. Seems that it might be a limitation of the actual PCIe lanes on this type of processor maybe but uh, we've tried everything and it just seems that it just will not boot up at all with more than 13 gpus plugged into it as you can see we get absolutely nothing on the screen not even the bios will load and as soon as we unplug just one of the gpus um, it works fine again so the that you know leads us to believe that it is just the fact that this setup does not take more than 13 gpus unfortunately all right guys if you got any advice or ideas for how to get this to work then please leave them in the comments below and please give the video one of these if you enjoyed watching i really appreciate it but what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of the videos on the screen because this video is over you can also click on the picture of my face to subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate that but yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you over there. Goodbye. Bye-bye.